Yep. Dog Tex, 1902. This one was screaming hard, 50-51. I think I got the nickel. Yes. So just in case. Oh, there it is. We're an Indian. Oh, I think it's an Indian. 1906. That is awesome. Okay, waited all week for some decent weather. Today's Friday, and I finally got it. Uh, I've had this in the background for a few weeks. I lost it, it was beans, and then he turned right around and chisel plowed it. And it looks like, I don't know, maybe he did disc it. It don't look as aggressive as it did, but it still looks aggressive. Anywho, it's a schoolhouse. It's a mysterious schoolhouse. We had this in our back pocket last spring, but since it only showed up on the 72 map, we didn't hit it until we didn't have nothing else to do. Come to find out. Oh, it was on all the maps. Well, it was here. They didn't put it on the maps. We found wheat pennies into the 50s. We found silver, uh, mercury dime. It was a good hunt, but for a schoolhouse that many years, there's got to be more. So I'm here by myself, and I'm going to brave the chisel plow and see what I can come up with. All right, guys, later. I think I unearthed my first coin. It sure looks that way to me. Could be a weedy or an Indian. Oh, I think it's an Indian. Sweet. Let me get it cleaned up um, it's pretty smooth I see detail I just can't read it oh I think I have it upside down there it is you know, I think Brandon missed 77 by one year. <laughs> I think this is a 75. But I can't tell. Let me work on it. I ain't gonna get it. I think I had it for a while and then I, I haven't put the loop on it. It's all right. Coin number one. We're always talking so bad about chisel plow. But if it wasn't for the chisel plow, the stuff would be deep. And a lot of the stuff today are going to be in all these balls. <clears throat> and with them being on the surface, I don't think it makes a difference if they're all cockeyed and sideways and whatever. So, this should be fun. I got another beautiful high-pitched squeaker. It's just in the upper 70s. It's right, Pinpointer says it's right here. And I tell you what, this ground is so hard. Nope, that ain't it. Or that's it, uh, ain't no coin. <laughs> this might be something. Very bouncy. <laughs> hit every coin range possible so I have to see what it is <coughs> be nice if I got it some way out what the I see it but I don't know what it is and it doesn't look like a shotgun head stamp. Oh. 
Oh. Probably a tractor tire valve stem. And another penny tone. Check it out. That's neat. Wonder what that went to. Just about lost this signal. There's a huge punk chunk of iron, and I don't know what it is. It's just really low, obnoxious. But I had a mid-tone above it. I just caught the tip of it, the mid-tone. And then I could go down to pinpoint it, and my pinpointer was just picking up the iron, so I thought I lost it for sure. Kicked everything out of the way, and I was able to find it again. Toe tap. Toe tap at the schoolhouse. Five more feet. I think it's part of a croto bell. It is nice, a pretty good size one too. I'm working my way up nicely on the heart of the iron patch of the school, so things are starting to pick up a little bit, which is good. The old stuff. I had a penny tone. Let me turn this off. Check this out wasn't a penny but that's okay right which is the township number nine 1902 i see the word dog so i'm thinking maybe that was a dog tax license tag I'm looking for something oh yes tax yep dog tax 1902 that might be my oldest. Cool. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm not excited about this tone, but it's definitely something I have to get out of the ground. I mean, I guess it could be an old quarter. But, there's a lot of stuff in this schoolhouse site. It sounds amazing, so and it ain't nothing but junk, copper, this kind of thing. So, but just in case. Get the edges cleared off. It's deep, and that's not a good sign neither. All right, let me have both hands and see what I can make of it. Two more scoops, right and it was out. And that's what I see. I don't know what it is. It might be something cool, belt buckle. Looks like there was some diagram on the front there. Well, that's neat. It says something. Sweet. I am going to put a brush on that and make it beautiful. I'll come right back. Okay, it is neat. I just struggling with reading it. I think the big word says over Overland. I think that's Toledo, Ohio. I think I'll make out what that little word is. It says the is it Willie's? Willie's something company. Overland, Toledo, Ohio. Hmm. I got something to research. Cool. Okay. I just got on Google. It is an automotive factory in Toledo, Ohio. 
it was called the Willys uh, Manufacturing Company, Automobile Company, whatever it was called. But it uh, made uh, military vehicles during World War II. And then it changed its name to the Jeep factory that is currently down there now. And I didn't look far enough to see when this factory first started, but it was quite a while ago, early 1900s probably. Willys, yeah, so they started out making Willys. Awesome relic. I have been digging so many nickel tones, little pieces of aluminum, little pieces of pocket watch, or not pocket watch, but uh, pocket knives. I mean, just you name it. This one was screaming hard, 50-51. I think I got the nickel. Yes. So, V? Yep, looks like a V. I see Lady Liberty facing left. Let's see if I can get the V exposed. Wow, crusty. Crusty, crusty, crusty. Let me work on it. I'll come back. Very crusty. That's the best I'm going to do. See the stars and you can see the top of her crown. You probably can see her nose to the far left. In the back, I could not. Usually I can get that V. Could not even get the V. But hey, I got my nickel. 70s, soft 70s and 80s. I kicked a bunch off to, so I could get a level swing. Took one big chunk out. And I have it in this chunk. It stayed 70s and 80s. So just in case. Oh, there it is. I'm bound. I'm due for a weedy. And it probably is, but I think it is. Let's see. I think this is just the best way to do it, really. Pretty smooth. I think I'm seeing the weedy one cent. I am. I see one. Yep, I see one cent in there. I see an old Lincoln. Yeah, crusty. Cruddy, cruddy. That's okay. I got the the one cent on the back. I'll play with it. If it comes back not a weedy, I'll come back. It's a, it's a weedy, but it's a 1913. I don't know if you guys can... I put the loop on it. It is the three. But that's a good one. I don't know if I've ever dug a 1913. Cool. What do we have? A piece of jewelry, maybe? I believe it is. That's cool. Copper. Something a little girl may have wore. This came in really weird. But there's writing on it. I don't know if it's nickel or if it's pewter. Or, or even what it is. I thought a key at first, but I don't know. that say page R O company signet if you guys know what that means or what it goes to let me know. This sounds like a penny. Finally, another one. Another good tone, that is. I don't know what it is. And I don't think it's very deep. It's not. Whatever it is. And the fluffy stuff. What's that? 
Yeah, that's a penny. I think it's a weedy though. Still don't know. Yeah, that's a weedy. Oh, is that 1919? 1910? That's cool. 1919. Gotta admit, this definitely sounds like a coin, so I'm going to pull you guys out of my pocket. Yep, sure does. Sounded high, probably another weedy, but I don't know. I'm gonna say this is the Lincoln side. Hmm. Yep, weedy. Tell by the back. At first, it sounded like a coin, uh, weedy or an Indian, but it was loud and I kept going deeper and deeper. And I pulled that out of the ground. Patterning number nine, size number nine. Patterning size number nine. something in front of the P. Is that a nail hole or? Yeah, it is. So, oh, there's something above it. What kind of patterning? Oh, a year, 1906. That is awesome. Let me clean that up. Okay, 1906, pattern size number three. I think it's a three maybe it's an eight somebody out there knows what that went to pattern size pattern size uh maybe it was a on the side of a sewing machine not sure now probably as you can imagine that screamed in my ear <laughs> looks like it's a weedy Yep, it's a weedy. Nineteen thirty-six. Um, basically, directly under my butt was where that penny was, and I got another screaming signal. Yeah, it's another penny away from it I think it's another weedy it is yeah right up by the road this is probably where the front door was when the kids parked their bikes I think that says 44 42 imagine that only on the 72 map it was here until early 40s actually I've dug a wheat penny that was 49 so probably the early 50s it's weird I'm still in the front where I got them weedies hoping for a silver and boy I just might have it I just have to see Move some of this stuff. Come on, let me see. Oh, it's not, but it's got to be a weedy ringing in that high. Yep, it is. That must be right in the front door area. 40 something? 42. Okay. I think this might be another penny. 
sounded really good. Yep, I see it. Another uh, weedy. Is that a 31? Forty-one. Yep. First one of them I found. Basically on the surface. Okay. I'm going to do a wrap up. Long day. Fun day. Other than the chisel plow. But surprisingly, I found some stuff. Um, and of course, it seems like every time I'm at a schoolhouse, find the legs to those desks that they sat in. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Oh, let's see here. I found... Is this part of a pencil or a pen? It's got those little grooves in it. But I couldn't get pencil or pen out of the ends. So, I don't know. You saw me find the leaf. I'm not so sure what that is. It's got grippers on the side. Cap to something. A couple pieces of a pocket knife. And I don't know if this is a bale seal or not. It's lead, mangled on the back. Shaped like one though. Some sort of a bracket, some sort of a doohickey. I don't have any idea on that. It's cool though. I picked up a bottle, some crock, pieces of crotal bale. Toe tap. Oh, I think that's the cover to those uh, suspender button things that you put your strap to. I think it seems like that's what those are. I'm not sure. We've got words on them. Excelsior brand. I've seen those before. And the Des Moines glove manufacturing. Never seen that one. A couple of trouser two hole buttons. I think that's a roller to a uh, oil lamp. Some sort of a jewelry thing. Girl may have wore around her neck. Absolutely love that Wright Township dog tax license. Number 9, 1902. I think that is a old bicycle valve stem. I got a, uh, what are those called? Pump organ reed, a couple three shell casings. I got that spoon. That's melted lead, and uh, I think that other one to the right is melted copper. Those two things had gold gild on them, but I don't know what they are. They're very flimsy. Um, let's see. Oh, and the Overland Willys Manufacturing, Automobile Manufacturing Company, which now is Jeep in Toledo. That dates way back, back when the company was called Willys. Overland, Toledo, Ohio. That's cool. And then this pattern, size number three or eight. I think it's three. Yeah. 1906. Don't know what that went to. Bet somebody does, though. Okay, the coins. Now, my coins, I can't, I'm not going to sit and struggle through them all. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven Wheaties. I think my earliest one is the 19 or the 13. There's a 13 in there. There's a 36, a 42. There's the 19. Oh, there's the there's the 13. And there's the 19 right there. 42 maybe, 36. 42, that one must have been the 49. Mm, yeah, something like that. I don't know if I got a year off this one. I dug a V nickel. I was happy to see that. And I got only one Indian today. She's kind of hard to see on the front. And I thought it said 74 until I started cleaning it and then I lost it. So. 
But anywho, not bad. Oh, it's another Gleason. <laughs> oh, be a half cent, please. Be a half cent. That's half cent size, oh, bro. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I Look like that. yours. I like yours better. <laughs> I think we got energy. We do. We do. Ha <laughs> ha.